Here at Vertical Aerospace, we are pushing every single bit of technology that we incorporate into these aircraft to its very limit. These aircraft are much more complex than aircraft of the past. These old ways of working simply won't cut it. We live in a digital age where augmented and virtual reality are quite commonplace. Harnessing that technology and using it for our designers allows them to be able to see what they're actually building. What we've been able to do is get our pilot to slip on a headset and be able to sit down in a mock-up cockpit and actually see all of the controls that would otherwise be there. We're not just selling aircraft, we're trying to sell an idea. And that idea is that there is a better way to travel. The way that we've tried to do that is by providing a decent level of comfort and also a little bit more room than you would typically expect to find in a smaller aircraft, as well as having larger panoramic windows, because when you're flying above your city, everyone is going to want to look out of it. One of the main concerns that the public has is what happens if you lose power to a rotor. One of the flight tests that we performed on the X2 concept was to fly forward at high speed and then kill a motor. Unless you're looking at a data trace, you can't actually tell when the motor is killed. And that just speaks testament to the fact that we have an immense amount of simulation capability where we're able to accurately predict these things and then take that knowledge from the simulation and apply it into a real world. Part of our goal that Vertical has is continuing to build upon what we've done before. Going from our X1 to our X2 and then to our X4 now, you can see how we've taken some of the best elements of each of those designs and carried them forward and continue to build to where we've identified that we need a wing in order to be able to take advantage of cruise flight. It's our responsibility and our mission to be the future of air travel.